Hindu Nationalist Party tweets cartoons of Muslims hanging from noose. On February 20th, the ruling party of India, the Bharatiya Janata Party, or BJP, a Twitter account for the Indian state of Gujarat, tweeted a cartoon of a group of Muslim men being hanged. The tweet was taken down by Twitter itself the next day, but news outlets captured images of the post. The cartoon was referencing the court ruling against the um, regarding the 2008 Ahmedabad blasts, where more than 21 bombs exploded in different sites in Ahmedabad in one day, killing more than 56 people and injuring hundreds. Uh, Harkat ul Jihad al Islami, an Islamic terror group based in Pakistan, claimed responsibility for the attacks. Sid Siddharth uh, Varadarajan of The Wire said that the BJP could be, sig could be signaling to its supporters that this is the fate of Muslims in the future. On February 21st, Dr. Rut Vij Patel, a BJP spokesperson, announced that the cartoon did not target any specific religion or community. Patel explained it was based on the actual photographs of the convicts published by newspapers a day after the verdict. Others sounded the alarm on the startling cartoon, drawing comparisons to early 20th century postcards celebrating the lynching of African Americans and anti-Jewish propaganda. Okay, guys, I'm not going to scroll down because I, I don't know how, if you understand how bad the cartoon is. Like, I'm so glad that I scrolled down Okay, Susanna, next time warn me, because if I hadn't scrolled down before I showed this, we would have lost our channel entirely. Like, we, this would yeah. be a major strike. This cartoon, like, okay, so I, I could just scroll down just half centimeter here, and the cartoon that you're going to see is so vile, it's so bad, that it will be an immediate strike on our channel. But you can see the tweet uh, is, like, it, it has the check mark. This is the official Twitter by the BJP Gujarat. They also posted they po it on their official Instagram as well. Instagram, the platform itself removed the images. What the hell were they thinking? I don't, I wish I could explain to you guys how bad it is without risking our channel, but it's like, it's, it's hard, it's horrible. Um, what, what would they offer? This is a political party. This is an official political party. They, they're, they're inciting mass violence. This is an incitement to genocide by the official party of BJP in Gujarat. Like, how is it, this is like some um, 1930s Germany kind of vibes. Like right oh, before- Oh, hardcore. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, guys, this is not like, oh, hinting and like, oh my God, using like a language. This is an, a the most direct, like invitation to genocide I've ever seen coming from the BJP directly. Like if, if, if we have seen anything like this before was from like people, like from like some far right Hindutva on the ground or like some never, never anything like this officially from the government. Well, those, those events that you're talking about were attended by BJP officials. Yeah. It again, it's always been like somebody else it had an incitement to like in genocide, but like there was like a BJP official there in the crowd or blah, blah, blah. I've never seen anything this vile. Like I've seen hints of things like this coming from BJP officials, right? If you read between the lines, except that what other guy, the Yogi Bear. Yogi, like, Adi, the, Aditya. Yogi Yeah, that guy. That guy has been also very direct. But this, like, this is like, you guys go find this image of this tweet and look at it and tell me like how and show it to other people and don't share it on social media because your account is going to get banned if you show this like rightfully so actually um but okay so they're saying this is a response so there's two things you were talking about some attacks when was that so, so just to be more clear those attacks so, were well so no, just the time yeah. in 2008 this is when this okay. massive radical extreme attack happened and so this was to celebrate yes. the sentencing of those radical extremists all right okay um just to so, so for people who yeah that was in 2008 this is like right now okay so i just wanted people to understand the timeline of this um oh has there been like a backlash oh people oh yeah oh yeah 
I mean, there was a lot of um, uh, equivocation. And so the, the, def the defensive narrative is that, oh, this isn't against, yeah, this isn't against a community. This is against these individuals. You know, the, these, this is against these Ooh. people who are murderers, right? And we are celebrating the fact that they are going to be put to death, you know. But the way it's presented to... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say any outside viewer, but certainly to an international outside viewer is that this is like inciting lynching towards a minority community in your country. Like it, it couldn't yeah. be more clear. In the in the in the photo of the cartoon they um include the the seal of the um of India, which is, you know, like the three lions. Apparently their use of the seal is also illegal to include in that. Um and uh you know, people were, it's, it's so directly comparable to mass violence that, or the propaganda surrounding mass violence against African Americans in the U S or against Jewish people in, you know, the Weimar Republic. Um, it's, it's like startling. It's, it's, it's so. Not, you're talking it about back in the well. 1930s and 1960s. You're not talking about, I mean, and everything, everything before it in the United States. You're not talking about right now, right? Because, yes. Yeah. Okay. Just want to clear that. Um, you want to read this by Bengali Hindu? Um, Bengali Hindu is saying, "I don't know what drives them to make such a toxic cartoon. Why? Which is so abusive? Are they dumb? Don't show it. It it's it it's too toxic of a cartoon. I'm not gonna show it. Is I'm not gonna show it. Yeah, but what was like? Even if they think these things, what makes them think it was a good idea to put this out there? Like they're making our job to show what these what the BJP stands for a lot easier. Like this is such a self own. Like you're you're supposed to. This is like they're saying the quiet part out loud. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. this is such a like a like we I, like this is such a win for us because we have like we have a hard time convincing people how far the BJP has gone, how toxic they are like people don't believe us people think we're exaggerating right a lot of people think like especially because we have been attacked by them so people think like we're biased uh and we're just like saying this because we're butthurt or something um and we're like over you know we're saying we're seeing things that are not there but then we have then we have stuff like this and we're like look at this and it's just an immediate win for our case to make it to make it our point like look at okay i mean i we can't even show it though guys go look for it okay um, and then we have people, idiots like this in the live chat. Look at this. Read this one. <laughs> Harish Patel is saying you are uh, terror sympathizers. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't we're... know why you would say that, Harish, because we have not said anything sympathizing with the people who actually carried out this horrific attack in Ahmedabad right. in 2008. Then, we're just yeah. talking in... about the way that they are presenting this is... I don't even have words for how wildly irresponsible it is. But what you were saying, Armin, oh, well, don't, what do they think? They're saying the quiet part out loud. They clearly don't care. They clearly don't care. They are willing to sacrifice that. They are willing to sacrifice how this looks outwardly. They are willing to sacrifice maybe even, um, you know, uh, a plausible deniability for the sake of whipping up a base. And it's in incredibly important to realize, like, I when I saw this and saw that it came from the Jugarat, um branch of the BJP, I was shaken. For That is so, so important when thinking about this. For those who are not aware, in 2002, there was a mass riot in Jugarat, which some qualify or say meets the standards of a pogrom and thousands of people were killed um mostly muslims in this mass religious violence and during this time in jugarat this is when modi now the prime minister was the chief minister of that state and there are a lot of people who say that he didn't do enough to end this violence, didn't do enough to prevent it, if not um, allowed it 
to continue. Um, so this, this, these, these 2002 riot, riots in Jugarat like are really, um, it's, it still weighs very heavily in the national consciousness. And so to have something so boldly violent, like expressed in this way, in this like heinous cartoon from the official accounts of the ruling party is I like, I don't even have words. It's insane. It's, it's crazy. All right, read that. We need to move on to the next thing. So let's read some of the comments and then. Brother Ben is saying, geez, Louise, I just checked out the cartoon. I was not expecting that. Geez. Yeah, that's really bad. Um, Look at this one. Ghost Bunny is saying, not only do they show them hanging Muslims in the background, it looks like they are burning either a city or a, other Muslims. It's horrifying. Well, that's actually supposed to portray the bombings that were carried out. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for clarifying. All right, let's address this one. Uh, oh boy, Hindutva Susanna is back, and Hindutva Susanna says, "What are all those who plant bombs from peaceful communities?" Okay, let me trans let me translate. Let me translate. Okay, Hindutva Susanna is saying, "What about those uh, people who plant those bombs?" Um, the, like he's saying, he's been, I think she or he's being uh, uh, sarcastic by saying supposedly peaceful community. Uh, oh no, no, she's saying like. What about the Muslims who basically bombed those peaceful communities? Uh, what do you want them to draw? Again, Hindutva Susanna, I think you are the, I, you used to be the mayor of what about is them. That's what I you, thought, but I think you're the president of what about is them. Okay. I think you are the, the role model for all the people in the, in the world who wants to use what about is them as a tactic. Okay. Do we ever like suggest that that was an okay thing? Or maybe say, how would you want them to portray it? Guys, it's insane. If you, I, I, I cannot explain to you how bad this is. Okay. The image that we're saying is an obvious indication that this is an anti Muslim. This is like, we're going to be like lynching Muslims. Like, this is that, like, this is, it's, it's an attack on the entire community. Okay. So just go watch it. It's, it's horrible. It's obviously a hate cartoon, okay? Nobody could have, has seen the cartoon would come out with, with the right mind, would not come up with the... Um, it's an it's an incitement to violence. It is, okay? So just go look well, it, at it. It is some... using obvious, visible stereotypes of Muslim identity, mainly right. the white skull cap, the white... Um, I think it's called the uh, Shalmar uh, Kamis, um, and you know the white the white tunics, and just it's it's a stereotype of these people, and they're like, oh well, we tried to base it off of their actual features. Most people who see this are not going to perceive this as, oh, you're celebrating that specific people are you know receiving justice. They're seeing right. a group of men wearing white skull caps hanging in a noose round together. What are people supposed to receive from this, let me, this cartoon? And let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example just to make it clear, okay? Um, let's go, let's find, um, let's go, imagine if we went and found, made a list of African Americans in the United States who have been put to death for actual crimes that they have committed, okay? Let's say, let's go make a list of, you know, African Americans in the United States that have committed really bad crimes, really horrific crimes, um, and then make a cartoon of a whole bunch of African Americans in the United States being put to death with like very stereotypical uh, black features, okay? Nobody on the right mind would not see this cartoon as a racist attempt and celebrating the death of not just those people, but getting revenge of on black people. Like that's how it would come about. If I make a cartoon of like, you know, look at all, look at these black people getting what they deserve, right? And if I say like, obviously this is racist, obviously this is disgusting, obviously this is like a, I don't know, white supremacist, you know, red meat for those kind of communities. If you come at me and say like, 
Well, Armin, are you defending their crimes? Are you saying that how would how else would you portray them in a cartoon? You're insane if you don't see what's happening. You have lost your mind if you don't see what is happening in this cartoon. Okay? You are you are so blinded by your own bigotry that you're trying to make excuses for such a cartoon. Now, guys, go watch this cartoon. Go find it and watch it, okay? Because if you come up with any other conclusion, if you don't understand what the, who this cartoon is for, you're like Suzanne, I think it's worse than what even Suzanne is saying. Suzanne is like, well, if you, if, to an outsider. No, not to an outsider. To an insider, to those people, they are using this as an excuse to celebrate Muslims dying. This is not about just these attackers dying. This is like, um, this is about, this is what, this is about the Hindutva, Hindutva crowd, the bigoted Hindutva crowd saying, telling Muslims, this is what you deserve, right? This is why they're celebrating, um, showing them being hanged in this Islamic outfit, right? And with their, they're, they're having an, they're having an orgasm over the, the idea of like watching, you know, Muslims hang. This is not about justice. This is about their fantasy of committing Islamic genocide. It's so obviously that. And if you deny it, you're either you're one of them or you're an idiot. Okay. Yeah. It's extremely worrying to think about the effect that this has to normalize these kinds of attitudes, because this sets the stage, this normalization of dehumanization is a prerequisite to mass violence. We just know this from history and people who study this, and this is an obvious effort to normalize this kind of collectivism, this, this, this stereotyping and this, this violence. It's also important to remember that in reference to, um, talking uh, Modi in reference to talking about people who were opposing the CAA and on NRC acts, um, was said, Oh, well, you can identify them by their clothing. You know, again, a, a stereotyping Muslims on the basis of their clothing and the way that they dress. And so the fact that these, are, again, these are the people in these cartoons are stereotyped through their clothing. It's, it's, it's really, really, really concerning. And it, go compare them to uh, Yahtzee. I can't say the word because of um, YouTube, but it's it's a direct comparison to Yahtzee propaganda. Yeah, imagine if you have like. Um you know yahtzee caricatures of i don't know jewish people um committing certain crimes and if you like oh my god this is horrible you could be like well actually i have an example of them actually doing this thing do you say it doesn't happen Armin? like you know what I mean? like you're insane you're just like deflecting you know we know what's happening here and you're an idiot if you deny it or just a bigot it's just like them um Anyways. Yeah, or just like straight up indoctrinated. But I'm not going to let you gaslight me. I can see it with yeah. my own two eyes. All right. <clears throat> I was born at night. I wasn't born last night. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.